on the ice with me. Fish on, guys. Fish on, baby. Fish on, baby. Today was our travel day. I'm gonna set up camp and then the next two days, we're gonna be fishing this lake hard. Bucket of bait, a couple tip ups, we're off. So this is the tip up mechanism, people. I'm gonna attach a live bait onto this. I have some live blues, some live emerald shiners in my bucket here. I'm gonna put them on the hook and I'm gonna drop them down about three feet underneath the ice. And as soon as the fish starts to take some line, check this out. That flag's gonna go up and that's a fish on, baby. I'm gonna put out my three lines here just a little bit off camp so I can tend to them quickly and just see what the heck happens. But it's just an absolutely gorgeous evening on the water. Tonight, my main goal is, is just to get camp set up and to get our feet wet. The next two days, we're gonna be fishing hard and we're gonna have some perfect weather and perfect fishing conditions. So guys, we have a flag up right now, I swear to God. We have a flag, baby. Man, something took out like 15 feet of line and stole my minnow. Got off, but that was definitely a bite within like the first 10 minutes of fishing too. We got a flag up, baby. We have a flag up. Oh yeah, we have a fish on, baby. There's a fish on, baby. Oh, it's a nice wally. It's a nice walleye, guys. Oh man. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that, look at that. I wanna land this thing bad. It's just a keeper, it's a nice little keeper, but man, is it fun on a tip up though with light line, hand line in these guys. It is so much fun and we have them, guys. Look at that. Look at that, baby. And that's just gonna be a perfect size to keep, perfect size to eat. You can hear that? You can hear some coyotes yipping right behind camp back there. They're happy. They must have just killed something. I heard this flag go up when I was walking over to it. Oh, there's a fish on too, baby. Fish on, baby. Oh, oh yeah! Another eater, guys. Nice. Just had a double, man. I might stay out a little bit longer. I gotta get this turkey going, though, because this turkey's gonna take a while. But these fish are biting now that darkness has settled in a little bit. Okay, I have two good tip-ups in working order here. I'm gonna fish those a little bit longer. You know, one thing I've learned when you come on trips like this, if you start getting a bite going on or you figure something out, you don't take it for granted, man. You don't just think, I'm gonna come back here and duplicate this because you want to in theory, but most of the time, it just doesn't work that way. So if you get something working, you gotta run with it, baby. We have a spinner, guys. She's spinning, baby. And that's a fish on, and that's a fish on. Coming right at me, coming at me, coming at me, coming at me, coming at me. It's a nice why? <laughs> He's taking line, taking line, taking line, taking line. It's probably about a 17, 18 inch or another keeper. I'll probably keep this one if I can land him. Come on, baby. Oh, there we go, guys. Nice, beautiful, look at that. That is another 
beautiful Wally there. I actually caught one more too that was about 13 inches, so that makes four total on the night, and I'm looking forward to the next couple days, but we're gonna go get dealing with our turkey now. Ali, come on. Ali, come on. Let's go. I just heard two wolves growling and fighting. They were fighting. They were growling and fighting. Oh, get him. My heartbeat is going through the roof right now. I'm going to come inside and I'm going to get my big camera on. And if we hear it again, I'll really try to capture some audio. I can't even tell you. I have chills all up my back. Off in the distance, I don't know exactly how far, it was loud, and that's what caught my attention, was I heard a deep, low tone howl. 100% not a coyote, 100% a wolf. And then shortly after that, I heard two wolves fighting, viciously fighting and growling for probably 10 to 15 seconds, and if it wasn't within 100 yards of me, it wasn't within five yards. That freaked me out, that freaked me out. Wolves, especially in the Upper Peninsula, where they're used to humans, they are not scared of you one bit. They will come right into your camp, they'll come right into your work site, and they're just not scared of you one bit. So I was mostly concerned for Oliver, um, because you just never know. Things can happen so quick. A pack of wolves can roll right through here and you don't even know what hit you. Especially in a place like this where I'm the only one, there's no people on this entire lake or in this entire campground. And uh, it's, it's just a... Kind of an eerie feeling right now. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to make some bread here. I just poured my water in this measuring cup. As you can tell, it's warm. Once you can just stand to put your finger in the water where it's not too hot, that's when you know it's perfect. Then I'm gonna use some of this active dry yeast. You can pick these up at the grocery store. I think Family Fair is where I got this. I'm gonna dump this yeast into the water and then I'm gonna take a pack of sugar here and dump that on top of the yeast. Now the sugar is gonna allow the yeast to activate, stir this up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump this right into this bag of flour just because that's gonna be the easiest way to make it here at camp. And usually it's about two parts flour to one part water. And we're gonna mix this up good. Okay, well, as you can see, I transferred my dough onto the cutting board, and this is all ready to go here. Now, I'm just going to put it right on top of our Dutch oven here. That way, that's going to start rising. This is going to double in size by the time we put it in the pan. It's time for the moment we've been all waiting for. Let's take a look at this turkey here. Oh, my gosh. This is so juicy. Oh, cooked perfect, too, all the way down to the breast. It's perfect. It's done. It's done. My goodness, look at this turkey. I can't even tell you how juicy this is. Oh my goodness, look at how juicy that is. Look at that big hunk of white meat. Little bit dry on the outer edge right there just because that's the part that got really hot. But the middle, the inside is just dripping juice. Look at that fall off the bone turkey. You know what we're gonna do with the scraps? It's going right in Mr. Oliver's bowl with all of his turkey juices. Okay, now it's time to go on with our bread here. Drop it down, put the top back on. Look at this, look at this. Okay, hold on. We have our bread going in the Dutch oven. Our gravy is boiling there, it's ready. And Oliver is going in for his supper. Some bits of turkey, a little bit of turkey juices. I couldn't wait any longer for the bread, man. It's turkey time, baby. Turkey and gravy, here we go. I don't even have words for how juicy and how flavorful this is. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I've cooked chicken in the Dutch oven. I've cooked turkey, hams, lots of different things. And it everything just turns out so flavorful and just so juicy when you cook in this thing. What a trip this has been already. We started at about four o'clock this afternoon. It's a little past midnight. 
owls going crazy outside. I had wolves fighting within a hundred yards of my camp. We heard coyotes. We heard other wolves howling off in the distance. We're catching walleye. We're making bread. We're cooking turkey. We got a dog. Life doesn't get any better than this, baby. <laughs> Listen to that. Oh, look at this homemade loaf of bread at our walleye camp here. To make everything complete, a nice big slab of butter, never hurt anything. And then we're going to add a little bit of honey here. Oh. There's just no way you couldn't like this. There is no possible way. And of course, we gotta top it off with our honey. We're gonna refuel, and we're gonna go find a new spot to fish. Crunchy, crispy fried on the outside with butter, glazed with honey, a little bit gooey and fluffy in the middle. It is so delicious. And of course, we can't leave our partner hanging. Well, since we had some pretty good action last night, I didn't move too far from where we fished last night. I'm just gonna go out a little bit farther and see if I can intercept those walleye before they come into the shallows a little bit sooner. Hopefully I can start hitting some fish out farther, then right at dark, I'll be able to move inside and find some fish inside again. Oh, the fish on, baby! Got a perch! <laughs> Got a perch! Nice, guys! Look at that. It's not a jumble, but it's definitely a keeper. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna jig this jig and wrap and I'm gonna tip it with a minnow head. This is a great bait to run anywhere. It's a great staple color. Any color in that chartreuse, yellow, white, perch color scheme is gonna work just about anywhere for walleye and perch here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take an emerald shiner, I'm gonna pinch the head off them, and I'm just gonna take the head here and I'm gonna hook it on the bottom hook. That way we have a little meat and potatoes on our lure here. Now check that out. That right there is a deadly bait to run for walleye and perch just about anywhere. Here we go, dropping down with the jig and wrap. Like I said, I'm just gonna give it about 15, 20 minutes in each hole and I'm gonna bounce around this flat. It's about a six to seven foot weed flat right here and I'm gonna see if I can hunt something down. Once we start to lose daylight in a few hours, then I'll probably camp out near the drop off and see if we can intercept some predator fish coming in. But I'm excited, man. If we can get one to come hit this, it's gonna be thrilling. Fish on, guys. Fish on, baby. Fish on, baby. Fish on, baby. Came in and hammered my jig and wrap. Nice wally. Nice wally, nice wally. Nice wally. Look at that. My chair is blowing away right now. Nice, guys. On the jig and wrap, baby. That was awesome. That was awesome. Just absolutely inhaled that jig and wrap and that's a beautiful keeper there. What a way to start the day, wow. Was that exciting? I'm only in about six feet of water right now and this fish came in and absolutely annihilated my jig and wrap. This is gonna be a perfect eater, another 17, 18 inch walleye and what a start to the day. We have groceries, baby, we have groceries. Got him, got him, fish on baby, fish on baby. It's getting heavier. He's running at me, he's running at me. Flying at me right now. Oh, nice, there we go, nice. There's a nice eater. All right, guys, check that out. Nice eater, that's probably about a 
15 16 incher i'm going to measure them to make sure but that should definitely be a keeper awesome well we haven't been getting any monsters on this trip so far but we've been getting some really nice keepers in that 15 to 20 inch range and this one bit a big old golden shiner on a tip up and i'm thinking it's going to be a very good afternoon right now the pressure is really falling the barometric pressure is on a spike downwards and when that happens it releases the pressure in fish's stomachs and they really go on the feed so we have high hopes for this afternoon we'll see what happens or spinning baby Got him, got him. Nice, look at that, nice keeper. All right. <laughs> look at that, baby. Look at that, last light, guys. We have a good bite going on. Getting some beautiful wallies. That will definitely work on big old shiner minnows, too. They're on the ice with me. A big old pack of dogs over there. They're on the ice, 100%. Probably 200 yards from me. Ooh, that'll get, that'll send a chill up your spine, baby. What an eerie feeling to be out on a lake in the middle of the night, in the black of the night, and have a pack of dogs howling just off from here. Within 200 yards for sure. They're on the ice with me right now. All right, well my buddy Casey's actually coming out in a little bit. We're gonna fish for a while tonight and then head back to camp and get a fish fry going. Got a fish on. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh nice. Yeah! That's a nice keeper. Guys, you saw this rod getting bit from about 20 feet away. <laughs> Just barely hooked two jig and minnow combo for the win. Dude. Just <laughs> <flying> over here. Wood stove's cranking at full force. The last bit of fish is frying. Our veggies are heating up. We're about ready to chow. That is a plate right there. Fresh walleye right off the lake. Peppers, onion. Oh, and somebody's up from their nap. Wouldn't you know it? Just in time, eh, bud? Okay, here we go. We have our peppers. We have our walleye. Mm, a little bit of onion in there. I say this every time but there's just nothing like a fresh fish fry. Oh my God. My side hurts from laughing so hard. <laughs> Look at how much that is. Look at this. Look at this. Oh! Look at this. <laughs> it's gonna start pushing the top off. It was like this big. <laughs> Casey, Casey couldn't believe it. He, he couldn't believe it. You had a little tiny, had a little tiny thing of bread. <laughs> My side hurts. One more look. Oh yeah. It's getting bigger. It's getting bigger too. Oh, I spent about two hours making this bread, but it's time to reap the reward. Well, what a great little camping trip this has been. Catching some walleyes, we heard wolves fighting, heard wolves howling, heard coyotes, cooked some amazing food, and it's just been a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us. If you're new to the channel, feel free to go down below here and hit subscribe. I'm pretty darn exhausted and ready for some sleep. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in our next video.